Hi, this is Steve with Our Road to Camelot. This video is actually taking you all the way from when we left New Orleans all the way until we arrive at the Fort Wilderness Campgrounds at Disney World. I know a lot of you are going to be watching this video because you want to find out about the electrical problem we had. So if that's the case and you don't want to watch all the other stuff, jump to the timestamp, the time code that I have below in the video and that will take you right to where we will be talking about the electrical issue. So I don't want to get anyone upset because you watched all this other stuff, but if you want to travel with us and see our adventure, go ahead and watch from the beginning, but otherwise that time. All right, let's go on with the show. Well, from the time we entered Texas, we were in Texas for 17 days. We've been here in Louisiana for five. And today, by the time the day is over, we will have been in four different states. So, just saying, Texas is big. Puppies are outside waiting. I'm on trash duty. So hopefully the wind is not messing me up here. I'll hold it a little closer. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be uh, doing a quick stop overnight in Mariana, Florida. We're still gonna be in Central Time. And then tomorrow morning we get up and take off down to Central Florida. We'll be heading down to the villages and we'll be there for two nights and we planned it that way just so we can have a real easy one to one and a half hour drive that following morning to go to disney uh we're gonna be checking all that out and kind of giving you the tips and tricks that we've learned in planning out this disney trip and how it could be a fort oh there's the trash <laughs> How it could be affordable so anyways that's uh that's where we're heading on this one so we'll be uh pulling up stakes and pulling out of here in just a few minutes and we'll catch you on the road as we're passing through mississippi alabama and florida i have to admit this has been it's an old park but it's a nice park and the people have been really friendly, really helpful. They keep it clean. Uh, noise level, not too bad. Last night there was a bunch of freight trains passing. I don't know where the train line is. I think it's, I don't know. Anyways, they were close enough to where it woke us up a few times. Puppies like it. Final touches, we'll be on our way. I don't know why travel days have to be so tough. <laughs> Anyways, okay, uh, we're basically, I gotta show you something here. We have, um, we had a problem when we got set up this morning. I didn't show you because I didn't see it till after I hung up. This is our old surge suppressor. That little knob sticking out of it is actually the ground out of our main cable. Mm, you don't even Hold want to see minute. the main cable. This is the cable. The ground's missing. That one end right there that's burnt is thicker only because that is the metal from the surge suppressor. I want to take a moment right now to talk a little bit about what happened with the power cable. I was thinking about this and going through my mind when the problems actually started. And what I remember is last year when we were in actually all the way into um, Carson City, Nevada, I was noticing that the plug was difficult to connect with the uh, surge suppressor. And uh, I actually hurt my hand pretty good trying to pull them apart and smack my hand in the side of the rig. That was smart. Okay. So basically, um, I thought back from that and realized I had dropped the um, 
plug-in part of the cable and bent one of the pins. So I tried to straighten it out using a pair of pliers. Um, that sounds like the most logical thing to do. Well, apparently I must have caused some little bit of damage in there. And over time, uh, it started to, um, it started to, I guess, spark inside. And it basically started to burn. Now, we did a lot in that summer. And by the time we got back to Arizona, I think I had bent it one more time and I finally straightened it out a final time. And at that point, being plugged in in Arizona all winter long and never being unplugged, it, there was a slow burn going on. When we unplugged, I noticed it was discolored. It was more of an orange, not a brown or a black. And I had a funny feeling that there was something wrong, but I thought too, it could have been just sitting out in the sun and the sun hitting it, baked it, and that was it. Well. Lo and behold, as we started this trip, uh, I realized that that was not the case. So it actually fried the rest of the way and because it had gotten damaged one last time, the whole thing was pretty much toast by the time we left New Orleans. So when you buy a new cable, or even if you still have your old cable, if you have the little plastic adapter that is sold with it keep that and use that religiously every time you unplug put that back on to make sure it keeps those plugs um, in shape and not damaged if you misplace it or throw it away or it's gone use your 50 amp to 30 amp or some sort of a um, plug dog bone to protect that cable a dog bone is only gonna cost you maybe what, 10 to 15 bucks, 20 bucks tops if you damage it. That cable is about two to $300 just for the cable alone. You need to protect that cable. So once again, if you don't have that cap anymore, use one of your dog bones, or if you have an old dog bone that doesn't work, cut the end off and use that 50 amp end, or see if there isn't just a 50 amp end you can buy at Camping World or through Amazon that will protect those plugs. So uh, that's about it. Let's get back to the video. $370 later. We find out we have we the have, long cord. Well, we picked up a new surge suppressor, not the one that I wanted, but the only one I was able to get at a reasonable price. And one more surprise that we got is Camping World sold me this, but it's an extension cord. It's not the twist end that goes into the rig. So when I called them back to try to explain what I needed, the guy was really confused. <laughs> no clue what I wanted. And I, I kept saying, no, I need to plug into the rig, the twist plug into the... So tomorrow when we get down to the villages, when we get to the villages, we're gonna go to the camping world immediately again. Yeah. And exchange that because you can exchange things at any camping world yep in fact update on the hose we turned the hose in the hoses in for a refund at the camping world we got this stuff at so that at least got us 50 dollars back that, well it added to our yeah it added to buy this but uh so now tomorrow we need to get a new power cord for the rig so hopefully so guys check those we're good yeah actions and be careful so now what we're doing Oh, and what made it even more fun, so we were able to survive the heat in Florida, or the humidity. I have the cable connection that I use for the generator, which basically dog tails to a 30 to 15, and then to an extension cord, only to find out that the 110 on our pedestal doesn't work. So what we are doing is we are running our extension cord over to our neighbor's pedestal, and we're able to at least run one air conditioner as long as we're not running anything else. I've got that from a number of people, including the manager here. As long as you're not running anything else, you can run one air conditioner. So we've got one air on trying to cool down. We got all the windows open and we're gonna exchange this cable out tomorrow. Oh my gosh. And uh, countdown to Disney World, three days and counting. So onward and upward people, yeah. Just thought I'd show you this. Um, this is interesting. This is really pretty cool. If you've been following us a while, I want to let you know that this is what you call blue sky. Uh, there's no clouds, nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> no, actually, this has been awesome. 
Uh, it's nice and cool out here this morning too. It was cool last night. Man, we actually caught a break on that one because as you saw our electrical, oh my gosh. We're leaving early this morning. We're gonna be hopefully getting to the camping world before it closes. And we will be exchanging out that cord for the right one this time before we get to our next spot. The camping world should be on the way. So we made it to the Villager RV Park. Looks like we might have weather coming over us here. They said it's been dry and no rain for weeks and I think we're gonna bring a whole bunch with us. We've got some really cool blue clouds and blue sky over here. We've got what looks like a storm blowing in from there. We're gonna be tossing our old power cable and surge suppressor. Unfortunately, these things are not cheap. I eventually wanna get one of these again. Still not a bad surge suppressor, but I think we probably could do a little better than that one. I got our new cable. I think it's about five feet shorter than the old one, but we never needed anything longer once we could have probably used something longer, but we just readjusted the rig and we're able to reach. So we're here at the Villager for a couple of days. I'll get that and uh, we're kind of counting down the days to Disney. <laughs> hey, it was an easy driving day today. It was very nice. Yeah, for a change, yeah. we had uh, we had the traffic gods with us. It was a nice travel day. So tomorrow, we don't even know what we're gonna do yet. We may just sit and do nothing. We might drive an hour to Tampa and check out a humongous RV dealership. Or we just might drive around locally and see what the villages is all about. So that's about it. That's it for today. We may not see you again until Disney World. Yay. Yay. All right. Yay. Yay. Well, today's the day. We've got a very special travel day ahead of us. This is going to be so exciting. A uh, very short travel day. Maybe about an hour, 15 minutes or so. And it's only about 60 miles away. But... We've been on the road for one month, so what are you gonna do? We're going to Disney World. So that's gonna be the trip for today. It's our first day in the land. We're gonna be there for a solid seven days. So this should be a fun and exciting couple videos, I'm sure. I can't believe that we'll do this in just one video. So let's get this place packed up so we can get out of here and over to the world. Keep right toward Fort Wilderness Campground. Arriving at campsites at Disney's Fort Wilderness on the left. to Disney Fort Wilderness. This is so cool. The pups love it. We've got these nice big spaces between sites. In fact, when we got here, they originally had us at another site, just a few down, but it was all sun. And we called them on the phone, asked for this one, which has a lot of shade. And they did it while we were waiting. Somebody came out in a little cart. They had a blower that actually blowed off all the debris and had a rake and raked the back and hosed it down. This has like a fire pit in the back. I gotta finish setting up, but I gotta show this off. Disney does it right. Holy cow, yes, it's pricey, but you get what you pay for. The amenities here are through the roof. We could have gotten here and just parked in the overflow, but because we did the early check-in, we requested, hey, we're gonna be here at 11.30. They already had a site waiting for us that we were able to drive straight in. We didn't have to wait at all. So 
We got in early, it's not even three o'clock yet. In fact, it's barely one o'clock and we're already in our site. Dogs are already tying themselves up around the picnic table. So let me get this put away so I can finish getting set up. I still haven't put water. They got electricity, but no water. Yeah. Oh, I know. She's she's so good at that. She is so good at getting herself tangled. Come on. In you go. Hey, Mama, right this here. is this is my hobby. I'm not I'm into knot tying. Yeah, she's All right. doing a good job of it. Well, we are set up for the long stay for seven nights, so I've got water electric and sewer hooked up. We actually got decorations, got our flags, we got our retirement flags, traveling flags. Our Disney flag, our spinner thingy, our sunflowers, and our thunder gourd. All right, we got both rugs down, chairs out, and I need to go get some air conditioning. All right, we are here. So we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also hit the bell, and that'll let you know when we post every Sunday at, at two, two o'clock. Give us a thumbs up for safe measure, safe travels, and we will see you on the road. Sláinte.